Dear students, now we are going to discuss special function registers of 8051 microcontroller. In 8051, special function registers are used to perform the special function such as to access and control the operation of input-output ports, CPU registers, interrupt control, timer counter operation, serial port functions and power control functions. Okay, so here the SFRs are used as a control table for accessing and monitoring the various operations of this microcontroller. Okay, here the special function registers are located between ATH to FFH in random access memory. List of SFRs used in 8051 microcontroller, accumulator, B register, PSW that is program status word register, stack pointer, data pointer, input output ports. In 8051 there are 4 parallel 8 bit ports. So here P0, P1, P2 and P3. Interrupt enable register, interrupt priority register, timer mode control register, timer control register, serial port control register. Okay, so these all are the special function registers used in 8051 microcontroller. Let's discuss each type in detail here. The first one is accumulator. It is a 8-bit special purpose register widely used to access central processing unit. Its address is 0E0H in RAM. Next one is B register. It is a 8-bit general purpose register used in CPU. Its memory location is 0F0H. So next one is PSW that is program status word register. It is also called as flag register. Its address is 0D0H to 0D7H. This is the bit representation for this PSW register. So here we can have 5 important flags used in 8051. Parity flag, overflow flag, RS1 and RS0. These two bits are used to select the register bank of 8051. Because that 8051 has 4 register bank, we can select the register bank based on the combination of these two bits. Okay. So next one is F0 that is flag 0 which can be defined by the user. Okay. So the next one is axillary carry flag then the carry flag. Okay. So these flags are very important in 8051 microcontroller. The status can be updated by using PSW register. Okay. The next one is stack pointer. It is a 16 bit register used to store the address of the last instruction request in a stack. Okay. So it is mainly point to that stack location. The next one is data pointer DPTR. It is a 16 bit register used to hold a 16 bit address or data. It is widely used in jump call instruction. Okay. So 16 bit DPTR consists of two 8 bit registers TPH and TPL. Okay. So here it is higher byte register. This is low byte register. So its address starts from 82H. Here it is 83H. Okay. So the next one is input output ports. 8051 has four parallel 8 bit input output ports. P0 that is port 0, its address is 80H, P1, port 1, its address is 90H, port 2, its address is 0A0H, port 3, its address is 0B0H, okay. So next one is interrupt related registers, okay. So interrupt related register means there are two important registers used in this interrupt. One is interrupt enable, another one is interrupt priority, okay. So the first one is IE register, interrupt enable register. It is a 8 bit special function register which is responsible for enabling or disabling the interrupts in 8051. So its address is 0A8H. The next one is IP register, interrupt priority. Okay, so priority can be controlled by using this register. So its address is 
zero B eight H. Okay. Next one is timer counter related special function registers. The first one is timer zero and timer one registers. So these two are sixteen bit timer counter registers. It consists of two eight bit registers TH zero TL zero for this timer zero. TH one TL one for this timer one register. Okay, so each one is a eight bit register. On the whole, it is sixteen bit register. So here the addresses are given for the respective registers. Okay. So next one is T mode register. That is timer counter mode control register. It is the eight bit special function register which is responsible for configuring the timer zero and timer one operations. And also to select the mode of the timers. T fifty one timer has four types of operating modes. The operating modes can be selected by using the T mode register. Its address is eighty nine height. Okay. So the next one is T con register. That is timer counter control register. It is an eight bit special function register used to specify the type of external interrupts. Two eighty fifty one microcontroller. So control register is used to specify the external interrupts of this microcontroller. Okay, and then its address is eighty eight H. Next one is serial port registers. So the first one is yes buff register. That is serial data buffer register. It is an eight bit SFR used to hold the data. During serial communication, the next one is SCON register, that is serial port control register. It is an eight-bit SFR used to select the programmable mode of serial communication. There are four modes available. We can select any one of the mode based on this serial port control register. Its address is ninety-eight H. Next one is PCON register that is power control register it is an 8 bit SFR used to control the power levels of 8051 microcontroller